Uh, Roy uh, and Martha became quite involved in the anti-war movement. That was during the Vietnam War. And they formed a uh, guerrilla theater group with medical students from UCLA and would go and do street theater uh, when, say, the audience would emerge from the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion. Uh, they would hide in the fountains and emerge and uh, carry around burning dollar bills uh, as an example of the military-industrial complex swallowing America's wealth. I created Xanadu upon awakening from a dream. I'd lost paradise, swam Hellas Pont, and with the fairy queen. I'm immortal, I have fought and slain the beast in his own den. So be careful lest he come against the terrible strip sword of me pen. What was also clear from watching all this is they were having a great time doing it. Um, and so not only did I get the sense that you can affect change, but also that these activities would be fun. It would be different. That group was called the Metastasis. That's another thing that was unique about him. I mean, he had that background. He wasn't afraid to, uh, I mean, not just the straight, legitimate theater. I mean, just wild from the living theater. Wasn't afraid to pull it out at a moment's notice in whatever situation he was in, whoever he was with. Oh, what a brilliant day it is for vengeance. Now I can say once more, the gods in heaven avenging men, blazing down on all the crimes of earth. He was theater. I mean, Roy, in his own way, was theater all the time. I would say he was an activist, and I think he used theater. I mean, his background in experimental theater gave him the perfect uh, medium. He had politics, you know, yeah. he was very, very active in politics. He was part of the student revolution in France. He was very active. Because Roy was so anti-establishment that, although he didn't start out that way. I think the peace movement has gotten to the point now where it might have some effect. And I love to see the Pentagon put down, because I hate those military bastards. So up to now, I've never been willing to do anything, even though I'm most anti-military. Uh, Waste well, up because I hate that military mind. Uh, but now I think that we're maybe approaching the point that the country approached about McCarthy, you know, 10 or 15 years ago or whenever it was, that he had it his own way for about four years. And then all of a sudden, public sympathy, bang, and just about a week turned against him and he got censored and he was gone. And what's happening now is you're beginning to see uh, anti-war things come out in some of the main news media, yeah. for example, light a while ago had a lot of pictures about North Vietnam in which they showed, you know, children with their legs off and stuff like that. The lead article in Saturday Review of Literature was about North Vietnam and was an anti-American war thing. Well, when it gets to that point, then I think it may turn over if it's given yeah. some additional push. So right at this moment, I think the peace movement has some chance of making an impact, whereas about two years ago, I wouldn't think of doing anything because it was just a bunch of jokers marching around completely hopelessly at the time, but not right at the moment. So that's why I got interested right now. Uh, we went to Brazil at a point when, uh, when there was a military dictatorship, and we went and we did theater there for almost a year uh, before they caught us and put us in jail. When we got busted, we made a campaign, of course, to liberate the living theater. And Roy at that time was working, I believe it was in Africa, measuring the uh, temperatures of fish in an effort to explain why some species lived longer than others and to try to understand the mechanism of life expectancy. And he was in a, uh, in a small, I think, African village. And there was, there was no embassy, there were no Brazilians, but there was Brazilian coffee to be had. 
and he took a can of Brazilian coffee and he put it in the middle of the town square and he walked around it mm -hmm. like a picket mm -hmm. and since this was not a, I don't think it was a literate group since he spoke out what was happening in Brazil and Roy was really a forerunner he said yes it is the coffee that's the problem it is our supporting the economy of places that are that are that are doing outright evil and somehow the theatricalization of that was so pure and so immediate and such an exemplary response that it really is an example to all of us about what we can do about all the abuses that we hear about. When we hear about the abuses, we should get out in the street and circle our can of coffee.